Cicada 3301 released their puzzle on January 5th of 2017. They did not release it on Twitter as prior years, but they did release it on 4chan's X board. There has been a large amount of effort put forth by groups, individuals, and YouTube channels. This is what has happened so far in the 2017 puzzle. On January 5th, 2017 at 10 p.m., this black image appeared on the paranormal board of 4chan. The name of the file is 7.png. On this 7.png, you can read a flood approaches, chart the stars, a cord of wood warms my eye, 3301. A second image was found below on black background with the usual cicada logo in the background and seven stacked sevens. Flood references to Robert Flood, a prominent English Paracelsian physician with both scientific and occult interests. He is remembered as an astrologer, mathematician, cosmologist, cabaltist, and Rosicrucian apologist. Once downloaded and opened in a text file, 7.png had a string of clear text at the end, which was to these coordinates and an onion link. The coordinates led to a phone booth in the middle of nowhere between LA and Las Vegas, called the Mojave Phone Booth, and the onion led to an image named 711317192329.png. Note that these numbers formed of seven consecutive prime numbers. Flood did this fancy cross of letters and numbers that have been added in the skull of Miss Yagi. This is the book from which the cross has been taken from. It also contains a message in Morse code in the black border around the image. The Morse code can be read as, a new species is emerging. Evolution is no longer guided by survival. It is now guided by will. The future is ours to choose and the singularity is approaching. Myriad choices will be made and utopia will usurrupt the world as neurons are designed into something new. There was also a website with the number of countdowns, www.7113171923299.com. And on the bottom of it, it's a set of coordinates to the Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Station. Now, if you could vert 7113171923299 to letters via Gematrius Primus, you get this, Orc Gwyn. Orc being an evil spirit, Gwyn being a reference to Gwyn Ap Nud, or Gwyn Ap Lud, and to the wild hunt. Odin leads the Norse, Odin has one eye and is part raven and part wolf. The second line has major importance. Chart the stars, a cord of wood warms my eye. This line implies that we must use astronomy as the reference. Chords are three notes that make a harmony and possesses a hopeful tone. Using the tone of chords and the astronomy focus, we asked, what is being hoped for right now in space? The answer, traveling and terraforming Mars. Mars is also a war god who exhibits arrogant behaviors. The warms my eye implies that arrogance is being praised. Mars references might imply war of some form. The same concept can be applied to Germanic myth. The three stars that the Norse used to travel are Vega, Arcturus, and Polaris. They are the Sol star, day star, and guiding star respectively. The first line has some substantial references that deserve some looking at. A flood approaches. First question that came to us was the spelling. After some discussion and a Frenchman's advice, we figured out it is similar to a Spanglish. Just replace Spanish with French. Flood means two things, Robert Flood and floods. Robert Flood was a scientist and a occultist. He represented two themes of the puzzle thus far, duality and death. His work lies within those themes as well. Flood also references to floods. Could this reference to the recent floods in California or a flood of documents from WikiLeaks? Also, Mars will appear in Aquarius relatively soon. Aquarius' symbol lies in floods. In fact, Aquarius makes a flood as Gilgamesh visits it. Gilgamesh is the first book of mankind, the Liber Primus, 
with these themes displayed in both Roman and Germanic myths, how do they connect? We found the man that led Germans to liberation. His name was Arminius. He was a Germanic Roman who carried a talent for warfare and a passion for liberty. He was unlike men who started revolutions to gain authority. It's best described by the histories of Tatatus. Arminius, without doubt, Germanius Libertor, who challenged the Roman people, not in its beginnings like other kings and leaders, but in the peak of its empire, in battle with changing success, undefeated in war. Now let's get back to the Mojave payphone. Bob Creamer's YouTube channel was able to come up with some interesting finds from the phone booth. This is the original unedited phone call from 818-396-7281. The number I have is three three zero one. The message on the other side states 3301 and reverse speech. The audio clip was reversed and sped up. It's not going to be the hours. It's not going to be the hard work. It's going to be a, uh, a eureka moment, sort of a ta-da, when somebody sees what the simple rule is that tells you how to decrypt it. Approximately 10 minutes later, Bob received a text from the same phone number. When the doors of perception have been cleansed, things will appear as they truly are. This appears to be taken from the book in 1954 by Aldous Huxley. It details his experience with taking masculine, a LSD-like substance. 30 minutes after that, he received another text, Antikytheria Mechanism. According to Wikipedia, the Antikytheria Mechanism is an ancient analog computer in array used to predict astronomical positions and eclipse for calendrical and astrological purposes, as well as the Olympiads, the cycle of ancient Olympic games. Using an online anagram generator, he found an interesting anagram from the Antikytheria mechanism. This is probably just coincidence, but it is still very strange. Calling the phone number on a different day revealed the new recording. Again, which sounds like reverse speech. This is the audio recording played in reverse. In reverse, it decodes to treehouse.guiltyparty.org 3301. Visiting this site brings you to the word tetrahedron and a definition of a solid having four plain triangle faces, a triangle pyramid. There is also a wave file. Doing a spectrogram of the waveform, it reads, in reverse, it is a link to an image of the Eye of Ra. Zooming into the image shows a set of coordinates. The coordinates bring it to the Brand Family Cemetery with the pyramid. A computer software engineer named Bashir was able to find messages within the recordings of the trumpets. In each phone message, they have at least two crypto music sections. It starts with what sounds like an ensemble of shofars, the ancient Hebrew instrument that purportedly brought down the walls of Jericho. Then it goes into a classic sounding section with violin and orchestra. But then, at 1 minute and 17 seconds, 17 is a prime, as is 67, the total number of seconds, it changes gear and starts playing the encrypted music like we have heard before. Then at 1 minute and 41 seconds, 
141 is a prime, as is 101. We return to the orchestra piece. Finally, at the end there is a weird backwards part that turns out to be an old Cicada 3301 theme. But backwards, it starts at 1 minute and 59 seconds. 59 is a prime, but 119 is not. But note that this number 7 is everywhere in this year's puzzle, and 119 is 17, a prime, times 7. Note that the entire length is 2 minutes and 31 seconds. Both 2 and 31 are primes, but so is 151, the total in seconds. Unlike previous puzzles, which had a piano-like synthesizer playing the dyads, this one has two violins, which occur from 1 minute and 17 seconds to 1 minute and 41 seconds. At first I was thrown because the section was in D major. Past puzzles were in C or A minor. But simply by transposing the code up a whole step, we get this. The truth has been lost. Find it. Seven words. And the sentiment seems more appropriate than ever. Now, when I called the Mojave phone booth of 760-733-9969, you will go into a conference call. I then receive the text, the truth has been lost, find it. When calling the number of 818-396-7281, I get, this phone number has been disconnected, 14 switch 330-1. Here's the latest message to come through, listen closely, comment below on the findings. the Morse code and text translate to a URL link to an image. Taking all the letters and found the letter that corresponded by going back three letters, like D equals A, 
E equals B, F equals C, and so on, the message that I found was, and above all, watch with glittering eyes the whole world around you, because the greatest secrets are always hidden in the most unlikely places. Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. This quote comes from the book The Minpins by Rod Dahl. Here's the quick description of the book. When little Billy sneaks into the forest of sin, he meets thousands of tiny surprises. The Minpins, his new friends, live in miniature houses inside a hollow tree. But everyone is terrified of a fearsome beast. And if Billy wants to go home, he must defeat it once and for all. I believe Cicada 3301 has found the intelligent individuals it needs, and now it's going out on its mission to deliver its message. I believe this year's puzzle is to be delivering a message. If you have any findings, please list them below in the comments. Check out all the groups, individuals, and channels that have been involved in solving the 2017 puzzle. They are all in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please contact me on Twitter.